Vancouver Resource Investment Conference 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now at the booth of White Gold Corporation. And with me here is David Donoforio, the uh, yeah, CEO of the company, who wants to give us an update and insight into this terrific exploration company. Well, David, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Very excited yeah. to be here. <laughs> uh, we had a very busy and exciting year this year that uh, thrilled to uh, talk to uh, your audience about. Yeah, I'd love to, because uh, you guys had like a $13 million exploration program. That's correct. And uh, what I saw in your news release is that was a really outstanding success, of course. So maybe you can comment a little bit and wrap it up a little bit for, for sure. 2019. So as you recall, you know, we have a huge land package, uh, 420,000 hectares, a million acres. We basically control the White Gold District located in the prolific mm. Yukon, Canada, the site of the yeah. historic gold rush, over 20 million ounces of placer gold, yeah. two major gold discoveries in the last several years, over 5 million ounces of hard rock. Everyone's looking for the source of this uh, placer gold and you know we think we've made some great uh, success in finding some of it. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Can you comment a little bit, uh, let's say, on your top findings last sure, year, like absolutely. grades and widths and stuff Perfect. like that? So there, there's three activities we focus on within our budget. Mm -hmm. We have an advanced 1.5 million ounce high grade deposit called the Golden Saddle mm -hmm. that uh, was uh, Kinross's asset that they rolled into our company. We've done some great work around that. Uh, we've drilled uh, within two kilometers from there. Uh, a five meters hole of over 20 grams, mm -hmm. and then underneath that, a hole with over uh, 30 meters of two and a half grams. So excellent success showing there's continuity of lots of high grade near surface gold right in the vicinity of our flagship asset. We think the opportunity for ounces to grow there uh, is, 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 is very abundant. So we're mm -hmm. very excited about that part of our portfolio. The other two uh, focus areas for us have been following up on our uh, very high grade vertigo discovery last mm -hmm. year on our JP Ross property, which is about 25 kilometers to the east of uh, the Golden Saddle deposit. And then obviously the big part of our exploration program is looking for new discoveries. Mm -hmm. And we had a super high grade discovery this year known as the Titan, uh, which we identified right. as a first a great soil sample. It came back as 100,000 parts per billion gold. That is the highest soil sample we've ever had on record. What, what does that translate into grams? One, that's a hundred thousand. That's a hundred grams per ton. It was wow. actually we retested it. It was one hundred and thirteen yeah. grams per ton. Huh. We then did uh, grab samples in that area, and there was samples of five hundred and six hundred grams per ton. Wow. That, that was a. That's outstanding. It was very outstanding. <laughs> it, it, we we found it. We did some magnetic and geophysical work. There's a big uh, intrusion. It looks like a magnetic anomaly. Uh, we were able to, uh, you know, fast track some. Uh, work to be able to drill it this season we really had mm -hmm. to we we're only able to get a couple of holes into it and we were uh, thrilled with the result of uh, the main hole we got into it which was 72 grams per ton over uh, more than six meters oh, fantastic yeah, that, that those are really outstanding values and um I mean, Agnico Eagle and Kinross, they have each like 19.9%, let's call it each yep. 20% to round it. Yeah? Approximately, yes. And there's approximately the reason why they have it. Not only they went uh, some properties into your company, but I think the reason is uh, the exploration success you had, right? I, told, I think that's it. They love how we work and they, like us, view the opportunity to own the majority of a camp in such a good district as Canada as a once in a lifetime generation. Definitely, yeah. We think we think there's multiple multiple uh, mines that are going to come out of this. Mm -hmm. You know, we when Sean uh, you know started doing his work, he said there's several other discoveries to be had yeah. and we're starting to see the uh, first evidence of that yeah. in these great high degree Super. discoveries. So 2019 was an outstanding year, yes. I would say. Yeah, you invested over 13 million dollars in the drill campaign. That's a lot of money, of course. Yeah. Um, so what's the game plan for 2020? Can you already give us a bit of an idea? We're in the process right now, being mm -hmm. early January, of finalizing that. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of great stuff to follow up on. Yep. What I also didn't touch on was the follow-up work we did on our vertigo discovery from 2018. Mm -hmm. We had great success there. We showed continuity, in multiple structures, so that you know, and new uh, anomalies along that same trend. We were able to do a couple of drill holes on those, mm -hmm. and five of those showed more high-grade gold. So this is a big mineralized system with near-service high-grade yeah. gold. So going forward, I think there's uh, you know a number of things we uh, should be doing, following up on some of this great success. We also have many properties in our pipeline that have not yet been, you know, 
gone through that whole protocol of testing. It's going to be drilled for the first time. Mm -hmm. There's discoveries from 2008, we did 18, we didn't have time to work on this year, like the Betty discovery, which is right beside Newmont's uh, coffee deposit. Mm -hmm. So a lot of work to do. We've been very thrilled with our success. You know, we had a lot of interest at the show and otherwise, so we're very yeah. excited to continue on next year. As you have a super large land package and you already said that uh, you have some other targets uh, mm. for the future exploration, how do you derive, let's say, the priority targets? How do you do that? That's a great question, and what we've decided to do is take a very unbiased approach. Mm. Uh, we're, we're, you know, where no one's allowed to pick favorites. Ta targets get drilled when they're ready to be drilled, which means they've gone through our full uh, exploration protocol mm -hmm. from the soil. It's like a set. process you have. That's right, yeah. and once all the boxes are checked, yeah. that's when the drilling happens. So that gives you more security before you invest the money into the ground. That's exactly it. Fantastic, great. Can you describe a little bit that process? Is Absolutely. that possible or is it like no, a secret for it, the company? It, it's <laughs> unique to us, you know, we're happy to share The yeah. more success that people have in our yeah. industry is the better for anybody. Yeah. Uh, so it starts off with soil sampling. This area of the Yukon has never been glaciated. So we've discovered a very strong correlation between the soil geochemistry and the rocks. Okay. And it may be gold, it may be other pathfinder elements, lead, arsenic, yeah. who knows what it is, uh, bismuth, but we go on that basis. If that uh, looks uh, positive, we'll come in and, and do what's called, uh, it's, use a device called the GT Pro, mm -hmm. which is in place of trenching, and that tests the hard rock. With so little overburden, it's a hammer drill, it goes into the first one or two meters of hard rock mm -hmm. to get an unbiased sample. If those come back positive, we'll do some geophysical work, maybe some more uh, other type of uh, surface type exploration, and when all of those uh, data has been in and analyzed, We'll then bring in the drill, but first we do a, a, a rotary air blast drill, 100 meters deep, it's very efficient, low impact, and not very costly to be able to test. We have so many projects that we, you know, we're not worried about a project missing because we have lots to work on, and if, it, if all those things check out, then we'll bring in the diamond drill. Mm -hmm. And so at this point, you know, we have a big funnel of projects, we're working up that pipeline, and each part of that pipeline is very uh, you know full with all lots yeah. of great results to follow so that up. means you have like a super organized concentrated process which saves you a lot of money of course absolutely and that's what the that's majors great. love when they got yeah. involved with us you know we are a poster child for how exploration should be done we're very proud of that yeah. and all this information you know data is something we value a lot we now have one of the largest soil geochemistry databases in the world mm. over 400,000 soil samples And as we have success in one area, we use that to review old samples to give new ideas to go back. And Fantastic. literally, we're just sampling the surface. You know, if this was the Timmins camp, they'd be hundreds of meters deep, which we think yeah. this is a camp, and we have decades of uh, work to be doing here. And you know, once we have good exploration success, we're going to look to monetize that somehow within our company and continue on to uh, find more and more Super. discoveries. Perfect. Last question. What would be like your long-term vision for the company? Do you want to sell it to your two partners or do you want to build a mine by yourself? I, Because that, that's easily a, a big uh, mine, right? Absolutely. No, no, <laughs> that for sure. What we're good at is making discoveries and advancing them to the initial stages. So my long-term goal as a company is to be a, a project generator. Yep make a discovery, advance it to a certain point, but then bend it out to one of our partners or whomever as to take it to the next level and do the heavy capital delineation type drilling investment outside yeah. of white gold. So the yeah. white gold shareholders are just rewarded and they don't have to suffer that dilution. Fantastic, great. Well, the super final sentence. David, thank you very much. Thank you very that much. That all looks yourself. really good to me. And I would say keep on going, keep on drilling. And we want to see many, many more good results this year. Thank you. We're very excited for last year <laughs> and for the future. Super, thank Perfect. you very much. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there was David Onoforio, the CEO of White Gold Corp. And you heard it, a super systematic, well-thought approach. That's how they save a lot of time and, of course, money before they drill. That's how you really should do it. And uh, their drill success so far is outstanding. Standing, yeah, their two partners must be really happy, of course. And the 13 million dollars went last year into the ground. I could assume this year will be approximately the same, but they are now in the planning for that, so we keep you posted. And I would suggest you check out the company because it's in the Yukon, it's in Canada, fantastic jurisdiction, fantastic values, good management. That's all those ingredients who are future success. Thanks for watching us. Bye bye from Vancouver.